Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be sweating now, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. Never doubt, not what I'm about. Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round. Bitch, I'm looking bound, can't stop me now. How's it going, everybody? Weekend is here. Vacation, finally. Um, I'm off all next week, which is pretty nice. I haven't been off on vacation since I guess it's the beginning of March, so it's been a little bit. Um, just having my coffee. Um, yeah, pretty rough week for me, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, kind of messed up my back a little bit, uh, my sciatic or whatever, my whole left side down near my hip, shooting into my leg is super painful, uh, a couple of days I could barely move, um, yesterday it was better, um, you know, doing stretching and things like that, um, today it's this morning, it's a little sore when I first get up, so I'm trying to walk it off, you know, try to get myself moving. Um, once it feels a little bit better, then I'll do some stretches and stuff, and I should be fine for the rest of the day. So you might see me limping or whatever, it's just because it, it's it's sore. So enough about that. Um, so have the new truck. Um, it's outside here i'm going to show it to you today uh let you guys know you guys can let me know what you think of it um i'll show you a couple little issues with it and uh you know essentially why i bought it um you know so let's uh show you guys what it looks like we'll open the garage door here and uh all right so let's grab my coffee so here we go we'll show you what it looks like right here so this is the truck guys all right it's um pretty pretty clean truck a uh, couple little spots on it so it's a 2004, it does have a little surface rust right there that I gotta fix. Um, there's just that on it, and on this side, on the box, down here, there's a little bit there. But look at those cab corners, fellas. Look at those super mint, the rest of the box. I just started buffing this side. Um, the truck is pretty clean. It's a 2004 F-150. Um, it's a one owner truck. Uh, old guy bought it brand new. Um, he ended up passing away. So um, it was left to his niece or something and they didn't need it because they had a different truck. So they decided to sell it. Um, here's the inside of it guys. It's pretty pretty clean truck as you can see um it's got the dvd screens in the back pretty good for the kids they actually work they're older but they work but like super clean clean truck it was very well taken care of um it actually has 289,000 kilometers on it not sure what that equals to in uh, miles maybe like 180 miles maybe something like that so um it's pretty nice um truck um i paid seven thousand for it um which i thought was a pretty good deal um it needs a they put new brakes new calipers everything on it um they did change the tires. They bought a set of used tires for it and wheels because uh, the tires that were on the truck, which came with it, are right here. They're all cracked and everything. So they got these tires 
for it, which they're smaller rims and everything. I want to keep the 18. So I'm probably going to get new tires for the 18s. Um, it does need a muffler, the muffler split. Um, it does have a little bit of exhaust manifold leak. When you first start it up, it's pretty loud. Once it warms up, it kind of goes away under heavy, like when you're accelerating, you can kind of hear a little tick from it. Um, but that'll be good for a video later on down the road because they're a pain in the ass to do. And um, sometimes I hear like, um, I think it's a time and chain slap or whatever, which is common on these trucks. Um, I didn't do it when I first got it, but I, th I think I've been hearing it the last couple of days. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to do a time and chain tensioner and maybe the guides on it, uh, which is a common issue. It sounds like it's the right side of the engine, which is common. So, you know, but other than that, like it's a really nice truck. It drives really well. Um, it's comfortable. It's pretty clean for the year. And uh, yeah, it's even got airbags in the back actually. So, um, I'll show you right here. See, it's got the airbags, and then it's got the little nipples on the back. So, like, if I put my ATV or I put weight in the back, I have you can uh, add air to the rear. So, I thought it was a pretty nice truck, you know, um, for the prices of trucks. Everything in this price range that I seen was had a lot of rust between five and eight grand you should see what's out there. So, you know, maybe they ran better or, you know what I mean? Or, you know, didn't, hit, I don't know. For the money, um, it's a pretty good purchase. I like the fact that it's in really good condition. Um, you know, if you buy something that needs cab corners and stuff like that, and you're gonna put money into it, you know, it just doesn't seem worth it. Like this truck is in good enough condition where I know if I throw some money at it, it's gonna last me a while. Like the frame on it is mint because they rush checked it. Um, and these frames are known to rot and crack and things like that. So this thing is super nice. Yeah, so um, like I said, um, that's the new truck guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's not as optioned out as the Lincoln was obviously. Um, it doesn't have the center console shifter in it. Um, it doesn't have the sunroof and things like that. But as far as like the truck being old, you know, it's in really good condition. And it really needs a good clean because it was sitting outside for a little bit after the old guy passed away. So it's got a lot of like like uh, residue and things like that on it. It did have a cap on it. I actually sold the cap last night because um, if I want to put my ATV in the back, um, you know, it won't fit with the cap on it, and I'm not a cap fan, right? It makes it look like an old guy's truck, which I call it the old guy's truck anyways. But, uh, yeah, the, the truck's pretty good. Um, it's It should be on the road by Monday. I'm just waiting. I got to get the safety, um, put my insurance on it, and, uh, and then we'll be driving. Sorry, got interrupted again. Um so as far as today is going, um, I'm not sure what's happening. I don't know if I'm going to go to the shop or not today. Like I said, I am on vacation. Um, clutch is here for the red SVT, the Cobra. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Um, we're waiting on a rad for the GT500 because the rad that was in it, um, it was leaking. Um, unfortunately, Whoever installed that rad prior to Mike owning it, um, when they put, um, I'm not sure what it was, the, like the fan or the cooler, the oil cooler or whatever, um, they put the screws in it and they used long screws. And what happened was those screws, when they tighten them, they tighten them into the aluminum rad and it actually pushed in and cracked the rad. So it was leaking from there and it's a $1,500 radiator. So um, we did get a new one. We got one coming from Shelby American or America, whatever. Um, it was supposed to be here this week. Now we're being told next week. So hopefully we can get that happening. Uh, 
He does have new wheels for it, uh, which we're also going to hopefully do a wheel review on that. Um, he's going away in September, so we're going to try to get this car buttoned up next week. Uh, we want to try to get the Red Cobra finished up next week because that car's got to go. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we're going to get back onto the, the Secan Notch this week too, finishing, starting doing some more stuff to that car. So uh, the new uh, dash or the clusters arrived. So, you know, we got to pull the dash out of that car. There's a bunch of stuff we got to do to that too. So I don't know if I'm going to go up there today. Like I said, it all depends on how my back feels. Um, this is just a quick short video kind of revealing my new truck. Uh, nothing major, guys. Um, you know, we'll see how I feel. I'm trying to take it easy. I don't want to be doing too many, too much crazy stuff. Um, worst case scenario, I'm just going to chill at home and finish cleaning the truck, buffing it up, and just getting all the, you know, the residue. You guys know white trucks. It's got all the little rust dots from, like, the brake uh, pads and shit. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. The yellowing and, you know. So, um thanks for watching guys um there's gonna be a few videos coming up this week because like i said i'm on vacation so i'm gonna try to record whatever i do up at the shop and stuff like that so stick around and uh thanks for watching